Hi Lisa, I love that you are a young woman doing these talks. It's not very usual, but as I'm a young woman too, I really like your expression. I have two questions. Yeah, it is really, really nice because there's not that many women full stop in um, as a non-duality teachers, so I, I agree. And also that the form is, it look, maybe looks younger than it is, but... Um, on <laughs> <laughs> I would say most of the time <laughs> I feel like a separate self but since many years again and again there are moments of insight in being nobody experiencing life I have experienced quite some trauma and what makes me think again and again is if I try to use non-duality to withdraw from life for example, when there is a wish to have more friends, then comes this drawing back with ideas like, I don't need anybody, I am complete already, I would not feel, I should not feel like that, but actually I miss body contact sometimes. And that's only something that you can explore yourself, I can't tell you. Um, so you need to just go into to your body and explore that. So rather than it being an intellectual thing of I don't need more friends or I'm complete or anything, just go to your body when you're looking for friends or wanting friends and see what your body's actually feeling. See if it's trying to co co cover up a loneliness or whether it's just coming from a balanced, healthy view. The other question is, my boyfriend thinks this talks you do are bullshit. I really like him a lot, but again and again comes the thought that it's a problem that for awakening it would be better to be with someone who is also interested in this kind of stuff. How do you see this? Thank you so much, Tina. Again, it's not something that I could answer for you. You'd have to go into your body and see what you feel. So keep going into the body and asking or looking to see why you're with him, whether it's out of fear or whether it's, um, it is a natural enjoyment or a natural energy to be with him. So just explore in the body. The body knows everything. So allow the, more, the thoughts to let you slip into the body. So you see the thoughts arising. So the thought is saying should or shouldn't I be with him and then see, just explore actually what am I feeling here. I'm not always looking to the mind for answers. And then see at the same time the one that's slipping into the feelings is being experienced by a boundless freedom. That, that one that's feeling its feelings is appearing in an infinite presence and the presence is who you are. That one that feels it's feeling isn't actually experiencing anything, but is an experience. 